Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Dan Bouchard Fishing and today we're going to be talking about pitching and the ultimate pitching knot which is the snell knot. So here in Quebec, Canada, bass season is finally on and uh, believe it or not we do a little bit of pitching out here. Uh, not like in Florida where it's kind of religious uh, but here we do a little bit of pitching and it's important to use the right knot. So my preferred one is the snell knot and there's a couple of reasons why I really really like this knot. Um, so I've got my pitching gear here and uh, we're gonna take out some hooks we're gonna try out some stuff and I'm gonna show you the snell knot step by step and then after that we're gonna discuss why I prefer this knot uh, even though it's a little controversial I think you'll agree that it's probably a good idea to at least try it and of course as always guys don't forget make sure you're subbed and all that good stuff make sure you hit the like button to help the channel grow and to build awareness for this video and if you find that I talk too much make sure you use the chapters down below in the timeline and you can skip to the different parts of the video that you want to listen to so without further ado Let's get cracking. Okay guys, so you can see here I've got some Trocar TK-130s. These are Trocar flipping hooks. Uh, this is exactly what I use for flipping. Uh, and uh, we're going to use one of these to tie the easy snell knot on. Now typically you would actually tie a pitching setup with braid, but just for the sake of it being a little easier to see, I'm going to use some fluorocarbon like this, okay? So the first thing you want to do is pass the line through the front of the hook, the front of the eye like so, okay? So you, you see the hook is this way, through the front. You don't want to hook it through the back coming towards the front, you want to go through the front, okay? That's going to actually affect the way the hook behaves when you set the hook. So very important and we're going to check that out afterwards, okay? So first things first, through the front. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this through the front and give us some tag. All right, pull through some tag through. And then what you're going to want to do is create a loop right here. So I'll create a loop like this, so you can see that. And I'll just go ahead and pinch that off with this hand. And you'll notice that I've got my index finger right here, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the line between the eye of the hook and the bait keeper portion that's over here. So just this little metal that's exposed here is what I'm going to wrap. So we're going to wrap it five times. So we're going to go one, two, two, three, four, five. All right. And then you can even wrap it a sixth time. And then I'm going to take the tag in and I'm going to put it through the loop that's over here. So what you can do is pinch it off with the other hand here. It's just so I can show you. You can see my other loop is right here. So we pass it through our loop like so. And again, I've got my finger here against the eye so it just stops the line from unraveling. So I'm going to push this through the loop and come over here and grab it. And I'm just going to pull it tight. Pull that tight here. I'm going to pull this tag end as well. And there we go. So you can see I've got this, I've got the line coming through the eye, out the back, and I've got my six loops right here, all wrapped around the tag, and then pulled through at the end. And that is an easy snell knot. Then we're just going to cut off the tag right here. And there you have it, the easy snell knot. Now let me show you why it's important that you thread it this way as opposed to through the back. I'm going to show you what happens once you put a weight on here. So here is our hook that we just tied and I want to show you guys what happens. So I'm going to take this tungsten pitching weight here and I'm going to throw it on here and watch what happens to the hook. All right, we're going to get in real close. Watch what happens to the hook when I set the line, when I pull the line against the weight. See how it goes up no matter which direction I'm in. See how it's jabbing upwards? Well that's what it's going to do in the fish's mouth. So when you go to set it and the weight hits the hook, bang it'll come up like that. And in order to get that action you need to thread it the way that I showed you. 
Ow. <laughs> now, I will admit that this is a bit of a controversy because not everyone agrees that this helps with your hook set. So I believe it's Mike Iconelli that pushes this big time. He loves this setup. And there are other pros that swear that this actually hurts their hookup ratio. So I personally love this. I think it works great. My hookup ratio is amazing uh, using this setup. So you know what? The best thing I can say is go try it for yourself and see how it does. The other advantage is that you'll notice that the knot is below the eye of the hook. So the knot is under here. So when the weight is constantly smacking the eyelet like this, it never actually touches the knot, so your knot is fully protected. See, check that out. You can see here, it will never hit that knot, so the knot will never fray because of the weight banging up against it. All right, let's go ahead and tie up the real pitching rig, okay? And in this case, we're gonna be using braid. I've got some 50 pound braid. Uh, obviously, this is coming from our rod. And so we're gonna do this in the correct order. So the first thing we need to do is add the bobber stoppers. So you guys have seen me use these before. These are bobber stoppers. So we'll go ahead and thread a couple of these on the line. There's one. All right, here's the second one. Voila. Two bobber stoppers and we'll just slide those down the line and get them out of the way. Next up, we're gonna put on a tungsten weight. So I actually have a Titan tungsten. Uh, this is just a three quarter ounce, but obviously for pitching, you're gonna use a one, a one and a half, a two, depending on what you're throwing in. And this is gonna go on like so, if I can see, there we go. All right. And again, we'll just slide this out of, down the line, get it out of the way while we work. And then we grab our Trocar TK-130 and we're gonna tie the same knot. So once again, we feed it through the front, pull some tag through. We're gonna make our loop. We make our loop like so and pinch it off. All right, and then we've got our little bit of braid that's right here. We're gonna take the tag and we're gonna wrap it around that. So remember, we're gonna do six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull that tight, there we go. And then we're gonna take the tag end and put it through the loop. That's right here. So I just moved my fingers enough so I can see a little bit of the loop so I can pass this through. Pull it tight that way, I don't wanna, there we go. Then we're gonna pull that. Then I'm just gonna pull it tight right here. Pull it, pull it, pull it. It's gonna close the loop and voila. We've got our beautiful Snell knot on braid. I'm just gonna pull the tag, make sure everything's nice and tight. Voila. And we cut off our extra. By the way, these are the CUDA scissors that are included in the 30 Bates giveaway. If you haven't checked out my 30 Bates giveaway video, go check it out on the main channel. And uh, you can also get details on Instagram where every day I'm posting baits. And on July 15th will be the live YouTube video where we give everything away. All right, so there you go, that's done. And you can see again, we've got perfectly tied snow knot. Now we just need to add our favorite bait. So the first thing I grabbed out of my bait bin were these uh, Riot Fuzzies. Uh, these are 4.2 inch uh, blue steel color. So this is black and blue with flake. Grab one of those. Make sure all our plastics are out. And let's go ahead and thread one of these on. All right, we just thread it through. Come out here. Put that on the bait keeper. Twist it around like so, and in that goes like so. There you go. Voila, ready. Check that out. Ready to bust some basses. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring the whole rig down. And there you go, your punching rig is ready to go. So there you go guys, that's it. That's how you tie the easy Snell knot so that you can make these great pitching rigs with the self-setting action as well as a nice protected knot all right guys so go give that a try 
and uh, hopefully that improves your hook sets as well as uh, less breakoffs when you're out there pitching. So thanks a lot guys and don't forget we are also running the 30 days of baits contest so go check that out on the video and on Instagram so you're entered in your chance so that on the 15th of July we are drawing over $350 worth of baits and possibly some other good stuff and as always guys make sure you like, subscribe, bell notifications, all that YouTube goodness on this video and if you have any comments, questions, feedback, whatever, you know what to do below and of course as always guys I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Other than that guys, thank you so much. Have a good one, have an amazing day, and we'll see you out there on the next video. Peace.